It takes time because of years of conditioning that we've been conditioned to be identified with our thoughts and with our emotions and to be focused on the negative. It's thousands of years of conditioning and in our lives is as long as you've been alive, we get conditioned by various institutions. Going to school, our schooling is basically is designed for brainwashing human mind and conditioning the children. Not to, there is not much of education going on in our schooling because you don't really learn about life. You just are forced to memorize things, which most of the time you don't remember it afterwards. So, and you can't use it. But it's a system to put you somewhere for 12 years to pound in your head continuously, forcing you to go in a classroom and sit down and listen and memorize stuff that you never use. It's not really for education. You actually don't need that many years to learn about life. I mean, in half of that time, you can learn so much more. If we were taken into the field and we were taught practically about life and everything we need to know about life, we can talk about this next, next time because that's an interesting subject. And uh, it's exciting. We can do that. So we have about 10 minutes left. I wanna dedicate this to questions and answer and question. Anybody um, have anything that you'd like to address? Anybody's having any kind of uh, struggle with disconnecting from the stream of thoughts or being able to take a step back and be the observer of the thoughts or the emotions? Anybody has any problems, hard time with sinking into this, the, the presence, the state of presence? If I'm here now, I can help you with it. Karen. Karen. Hi, Karen. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, this thing about, you know, the thoughts and the feelings. Uh, it, it, for me, um, I understand that it's something visiting me and it's going away, right? Right. And, and it's, um, I, I understand this to not identify with this, that it comes and go. But, but if I have pain in my body, then it then it feels so strong, so it's it's difficult to disconnect from it. Then I identify with it a lot. Okay. Okay. So all right, we're talking about we're talking about you're experiencing pain in your body, correct? Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's, let's make this clear because the, I think there's a little bit of a misunderstanding. Yeah. So you're having pain in your body. And we're not talking about disconnecting from the pain and not feeling the pain. 
obviously there is pain pain is being experienced in the body and it's yeah. very, and it's very real correct yeah yeah but i feel identified with it when you say identify with it you what do you mean by that um Okay, there is strong pain is happening in your body. Let's say whatever, whatever the pain is. Very strong, yeah. you're having pain. And yeah, then, then for, exam for example, if I, for example, if I, if I should dance and I have pain in my body, then I can't, it's difficult for me to enjoy uh, the dancing because I have pain. Then I... Okay. It, it then it, it is, it's like it, it's difficult to enjoy the sun because i have pain yeah okay so but what how does that affect the fact that you are aware you're observing pain is happening in your body you're struggling with pain right there's pain being experienced and you are aware of it that part that you are aware of it the fact that you are noticing pain and you're acknowledging pain how does it affect that part it, it doesn't uh... it doesn't affect that i'm aware about it right but it, it, it's not easy for me to not suffer if i feel pain if for example if i if i'm if i feel sadness or if i feel depression then it is like then it, it's more easy to think like yeah but it will go over so it it's not this uh, suffer it's not the same kind of suffering right yeah and and I'm not saying that if you're having pain in your body and you, you are experiencing discomfort, I'm not saying you shouldn't. And that's not right. You shouldn't be hurting when you're having pain in your body. That's not what I'm saying. Okay? By recognizing that you're the awareness you're the observer of the pain by taking that position okay switching into okay i'm having a lot of pain right now in my chest and my back i'm aware of it there's nothing i can do or i will do whatever i take medication for it or i stretch or whatever i'll do whatever i have to do not to feel it okay but let's say no matter what i did the pain is is there i'm experiencing a lot of pain but the reality the fact that i am fully i'm in this place that i'm fully aware of pain is happening and i can see it but my ability to be aware of it, to see it, has not been altered. My ability to be aware and observe pain, that part remains intact. No matter how great is the pain, or whether the pain goes away or, go, goes away or not, it won't make any difference.